good morning to one another. So again, we have started our journey in the Hypotenuse YouTube channel. Welcome you all to this YouTube channel. I hope you all will enjoy the here, the learning of maths. So today our topic is, we are starting with this number theory. And the first video it is, we go for uh, unique factorization theorem and with some of its applications. The next or coming video, we will go for the rest of the applications. Okay. So, unique factorization theorem. What does it mean? In maths, in number theory, this unique factorization theorem of the greater than mass is written. Okay. So, let us have the statement of this uh, unique factorization theorem. Every composite number, every composite number can be factorized in the product of prime factors. And this factorization is Depending upon the presence of factors in a number, we are dividing the numbers into two parts. One is the prime numbers, one is the composite numbers. Prime number, it means whose factors are one and itself, we can see their prime numbers. For example, 2, 3, 5, 7. At the same time, if we are proceeding for composite number, those numbers which are not prime, they are composite number. It means in composite number that the factors other than prime prime numbers. Okay. One and itself, so other than one and itself, some two factors are there. That's why you can say they are composite numbers. So for a small example that comes like 1500, 1500, we can be reserved into three factors 2, 3, and 5, along with their exponent 2 to the power 2, 3 to the power 1, and 5 to the power 3. It means this 1500 contains two twos, 1, 3, and 5. 3, 5, 7. Okay, so this factorization is unique. It means no one in this world can be really express 1500 with 1500 with the help of any other prime numbers, with the help of any other exponents. This is unique. Okay, throughout the world. We are throughout the mathematics of things. Okay, let us proceed to some of its applications. There are lots of applications of the factorization theorem in class 9 and 10 where uh, learning about LCM and LCM. What if, uh, if we are proceeding for some more applications, we can get the first application to find the number of ways in which a composite number can be resolved into two factors. I am taking a small number, 4 here. So if 4 is a composite number, in how many ways, if the question arises, in how many ways this 4 can be resolved into two different factors. Okay, so we can say it is 1, 4, this is one pair of factors we are getting. Yes or no? And if you can see 2 comma 2, it is also another pair of factors we are getting. So in this way, it is four, we can easily find out it. But in case of greater numbers, like this 1500 let us consider, how to find out in how many ways this composite number can be resolved into two factors. Okay, so this is small, we can say observation is there. If A, it means the number itself. Can be reserved, can be, or we can say factorized in the form of a to the power p, b to the power q, c to the power r. This is known as the canonical representation of standard form, or so we can say. Canonical representation of standard form of this number n, where a, b, c are prime numbers and this b, q, r are four numbers, so we can say. Okay, so if you are proceeding with this 1500, then what we are having? Now we are having this 2 to the power 2 into 3 into 5 to the power 3. I hope it is clear to all. Okay, so now if we are proceeding for the case 1, it means we are just aiming to find out the number of ways this composite number can be divided into two factors. The first the case we are considering, we need even numbers. It means in between this P, Q and R, all are even numbers. It is possible, no doubt. Because here, here 1 is even and 1 is odd, no doubt. But in case of all our evaluations, we are getting by uh, another example we can consider 2, 5, 0, 0. Yes or no? So right here we can say this 2 to the power 2 into 5 to the power 4. Okay? 2 to the power 2 into 5 to the power 4. It means this 2 to the power 2, 2 is 1 even, 4 is 1 even. So these two cases we will consider. Well, this P, Q and R. It means the powers of the primes are, uh, any one of them may be odd, all will be even. And if possible, we can say if they are even, if they are even, the powers are even, 
then the that kind of numbers are called perfect squares. We will consider these two, uh, we can say, uh, cases right here. If they are even numbers, this P, Q, and R, whatever we are getting, if the extra numbers we are getting, it means some more prime numbers we are getting, then we can say the number of ways that is half into half into P plus 1 into Q plus 1 into R plus 1 plus 1. Okay, it means for this one we can say it is half into right here, it is P plus 1, P is 2 right here, 2 plus 1 plus. Then Q is 4 right here, so 4 plus 1 plus 1. Okay, so this is half into 2 plus 1 is 3, 4 plus 1 is 5, okay, 2 plus 1 is 16. That is 16 by 2, 8 by 8. So there are 8 ways in our hand in which this 2500 can be factorized into 2, uh, so 2 factors. Okay, can be resolved into two different factors. At the same time, we are proceeding for any of the PQR is odd. Then we can say this item we are considering for 1500, and the number of ways this can be resolved into two factors. We can say it is half into P plus 1, P is 2, 2 plus 1, Q plus 1, Q is 1, 1 plus 1, R, R is 3, 3 plus 1. I hope it is clear to all why we are, why are using the second formula not the first formula because if the PQR all are even numbers it means this A is a square perfect square number then we will proceed with this formula first formula and if not we can say with the second formula what is the difference between these two in the first one the plus one is there just to accommodate this uh, uh, we can say all numbers because if we are not adding one then it will become 15 by 7.5 which is somehow we can say confusing that's why we should just add this that odd number and just add in one right here. But in case of even factors, any one of the odd factors, we are getting, we can see that numbers are no problem. We are not adding one time here. It will become half into 3, 2, 4. 24. That is 4. So, whoever the number of ways this 1500 can be factorized, you can take it in your home also. Just take the 1500. Keep writing the factors like this 1 comma 1500 is 1 or 2 comma 750 another form. You just keep changing, keep, keep writing like this and you get 12 number of possibilities like that. Okay, clear to all right. If you are proceeding for the another case or another application, you can say something sometimes it comes to our mind why we are only considering the factors. If it, it, what, what is the for, we can say condition uh, if we are proceeding with the prime factors. We can, we can say like that, we are dividing into two, two different factors. So that just, we can say, rewriting between the multiple of two different factors. So what happens when these two numbers are from the prime numbers? Is it possible to find that? Yes, obviously. That is, if to some next application is to find the number of ways in which A can be reserved, A means the number we are considering, not the number right number, into two prime factors. Here we are considering the factors only at these two. And here we are considering the prime factors. Okay. So the formula is 2 to the power n minus 1. So what is n right here? And n is the number of different prime factors available present in the given composite. For example, we are considering this 1500. If we are considering this 1500, then what is the factorization of this 1500? 2 to the power 2, 3 to the power 1 into 5 to the power 3. How many prime uh, factors are there? Three prime factors. One, two, eight, one, three, one, five. So three prime factors are there. So you can consider the same as three. It will be two to the power three minus one. That is two to the power two. two, power two. I think it is clear to all. The three different things we have discussed in this video. One is to find out, uh, we can say, number of uh, ways in which this component of n can be resolved. If all the powers of the Possible prime factors are given, and if one of them are odd, then we are proceeding with this formula. And if we are just aiming to find the number of possibilities to just reserve into prime factors, we are considering the last one that is 2 to the power n. I hope you have uh, you are going to use these three in the future days. Thank you all. We'll meet uh, in the next video with some new applications of unique factorization. Till then, stay tuned, subscribe my channel and keep sharing.
Vabbè, 